In today's show, we're going to be taking a look at what crypto analyst Alex Kruger has to share, breaking down his four long-term Bitcoin scenarios. How likely are they to play out? We're going to be discussing this in today's show. Also, in other crypto news, the Bitcoin price could soon pump another 20% as the trading volumes tank, drastically dropping volumes on crypto exchanges mean it's the calm before the storm for Bitcoin price. We're also going to be taking a look at the cryptocurrency market. As you can see, we just started pumping again. I'll be doing a Bitcoin price action and so much more in today's show. Here at Crypto News Alerts, I drop a brand new episode every day. So be sure to smash that subscribe button and click the bell icon to receive notifications of the latest premium crypto news. And to help celebrate the launch of our podcast, our sponsor, CMDX, the fastest growing health rewards cryptocurrency in the world, is giving away $25 worth of CMDX tokens absolutely free. For full details, click that link right below the video in the description. And before we dive right into today's show with the four long-term Bitcoin scenarios, I want to give you a quick reminder that if you missed this live event with Tika Tuari entitled 12 Seconds to $12,000, where he shares a quantitative trading system so accurate, he took money out of crypto to commit to this Instead, he's winning trades with 84% accuracy. For full details, you can still check out the replay for a limited time by clicking the link right below this video in the description. All right, welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. I'm your host, JV, and let's check out what Alex Kruger had to share regarding his four long-term Bitcoin scenarios. Here's what he tweeted. Bitcoin scenario number one, Bitcoin becomes a global reserve currency. Current hodlers, all proven to be early, get immensely rich. Just a heads up, I love that scenario. Scenario number two, scarcity keeps price going up forever. Bitcoin continues to outperform. Investors do extraordinarily well. I love this scenario too, can't complain. Now let's check out scenario three. After a few more epic runs, Bitcoin eventually matures and settles into a wide range. Like most commodities do in real terms, Bitcoin maxes turn into gold bugs. So Bitcoin maximalists turn to gold bugs 2.0. And scenario number four, Bitcoin dumps into oblivion. People keep on buying the dip. Bitcoiners get wrecked. Which one is more likely? Hmm. What would I choose? I'm going to put, whew, is it going to be the world reserve currency? Is it going to outperform forever, settle into a range, or dump into oblivion? Well, I know it's not going to do number four. Um, I'm going to go with either number one, becoming a world reserve currency, or number two, outperforms forever. For the sake of it, I'm going to choose number two. What would you choose? Let me know in the comments right down below. Let's see what people put. They put 46% said settle into a range, 20% uh, said dump into oblivion, 17% put world reserve currency, and <laughs> my, mine was the least popular vote, which is outperforms forever. Now let's check out some of the comments. Well, Alex Kruger replied to his own tweet saying, almost half are voting settle into a wide range. For those voting number three, time for some crystal balling. Where do you see Bitcoin most likely settling in? And I'm going to put above $100,000. The options are above 100K, 30 to 100K, 10 to 30K, or below 10K. Let's see what people put. And that's the superior vote. 44% of the people put above 100,000. And 24% uh, put between 30 and 100,000. 16% between 10 and 30,000. And 15%, which is the least popular vote, put below $10,000. Now let's check out some of the replies to this prediction. Joey J put Tom, Alex, I'm a big Bitcoin fan, but number one, how can it be the world's reserve currency if it will only have 21 million, talking about 21 million Bitcoins in existence, much of its people either lost it or will hodl forever, question mark. Wouldn't this scarcity create some inequalities as current fiat says? Who maintains the system after 21 million incentives? And Joey also put 
trying to teach my son about Bitcoin would really appreciate your expert opinions. Number one, does Bitcoin scarcity prevent eventual mass adoption? And number two, who has incentives to maintain Bitcoin blockchain network after mining? 21 million is over. Well, I am going to point out that one Bitcoin can be broken down into, correct me if I'm wrong, but the 100 million Satoshi. Right. So just because there's only 21 Bitcoin that will ever be in existence and 7 million approximately are lost forever, according to Tika Tuari and John McAfee and some of the experts. So with 14 million Bitcoin to ever be in existence, that can be broken down to such small fractions of a Satoshi that could be a world currency without a shadow of a doubt. And taking a look at some additional replies, less than average wrote, my personal and very unfounded opinion, or rather fear, Bitcoin stabilizes to a fixed value in terms of what you can buy it with. Bitcoin will not moon. The moon will come down, hyperinflation. And Bitcoin, the way to shield oneself a bit from the problems that come out of it. Mod Shop wrote, number three is verging on nonsensical. If Bitcoin is gold 2.0, it will not simply follow the path of gold. Bitcoin provides all the qualities of gold and more. Therefore, forging for itself an entirely new paradigm, unparalleled to any pre-existing commodity, I'm going to agree with this comment. And Crypto Mollus wrote, I think either Bitcoin matures or it supplants the entire monetary system, although this is more unlikely. And Social Credit wrote, what percentage of your followers are in crypto? That's a good question. Alex Kruger replied, think 80 to 90 percent, though that includes many who are interested in crypto but don't invest in it. And taking a look at this final reply from Jack Ruby, he wrote, everything above 100K is insane for the next couple of years, decades if one compares the Bitcoin market versus the gold market cap. I think currently the gold market cap is about, and correct me if I'm wrong, but about $8 trillion in the Bitcoin market cap. If we take a look over at coin market cap, it's currently, let's check it out here, the volume, 17 billion in volume in the past 24 hours. Let's see, market cap is currently $155 billion USD for Bitcoin. And in other crypto news, Bitcoin ATMs worldwide hit new milestones, surpassing 6,000. So this is definitely bullish news for Bitcoin. But what I want to talk about right now is the Bitcoin price could soon pump another 20% as trading volumes tank. Bitcoin volume on BitMEX, the leading destination for trading crypto derivatives, reached 784 million worth of Bitcoin, its lowest level since March 30th. Last time the BitMEX exchange recorded such underwhelming numbers, the Bitcoin price surged by more than 20% in just two days later, kickstarting the 2019 bull run. Taking a look at this tweet from Cantering Clark, he wrote, ugly, look at the volume on BitMEX, $784 million. The last time 24-hour volume was this low, was March 30th. Go ahead and look at the date on the chart, and I included this in the show notes below this video in the description so you can check it out for yourself. BitMEX is not alone. Coinbase has recently seen its lowest trading volume in a couple of months. Meanwhile, the trade volume on peer to peer trading platform, local bitcoins, dropped by 30% this month, alone to their lowest level since September 2018. And taking a look at the top cryptocurrencies, we can see the market is finally pumping once again with most. Most of the major cryptos back in the green. Bitcoin up 1.26%, currently trading at $8,542. Ethereum up 1.5%, trading at $184. XRP up 0.78%, trading at just above 26 cents. EOS up 2.1%, trading at $3.42. BNB up 0.7%, trading at $20.26. Miss Litecoin up 1.8%, trading at $59.41. Link back in the red, down 0.2%, trading at $2.94 after pumping in the past couple of days. And Leo is up 0.67%, trading at 97 cents. And Maker up 4.8%, trading at $648. The total crypto market cap is currently 235 billion with 60 billion in volume in the past 24 hours and the current Bitcoin dominance is 65.8%. Yesterday, I believe it was 
0.9% than the previous days. It was right at 60%. So the Bitcoin dominance has taken a slight step back. And when this occurs, typically we see a rally with the altcoins. Now taking a look at the top gainers in the past 24 hours, Synthetics Network leading the way, up 20%, currently trading at $1.05, Centrality up 19.6%, trading at 18.5 cents, iExec RLC up 11%, currently trading at 81 cents, Basic Attention Token up 7.7%, trading at just under 28 cents, Swipe up 7%, trading at a buck 36, and Neem up 6.6%, currently trading at just above four cents. And taking a look at the biggest losers in the past 24 hours, Luna down 11.3%, trading at 38 cents. VeChain down 6.3%, trading at 0 0.007. Energy down 6.3%, trading at $2.08. Silverway down 6%, trading at just above 85 cents. Decred down 5%, trading at $22.92. And Horizon down 5% currently trading at $5.62. And checking out the current BitMEX margins, we can see the bulls are back in control, leading the way with about 23 million in superiority in the last 24 hours. So longs are leading the way at 51.04% versus 48.96% shorts. Are you bullish or bearish on Bitcoin right now? Let me know in the comments right down below. All right, now let's get to our Bitcoin weekly forecast. And let's see where the Bitcoin price may lead to. This past week, Bitcoin saw an increase in selling pressure below the 8880 support area against the US dollar. Moreover, the Bitcoin price settled below 8700, a pivot level and a 100 simple moving average on the four hour chart. There were steady losses and the price broke $8,600 and $8,500 support levels. A new monthly low is formed near $8,382 and the price is clearly trading in a bearish zone. It's consolidating losses above the $8,400 level. Besides, Bitcoin is trading near the 23.6% Fibonacci retracement level and the recent decline from $8,777 high to $8,382 low. On the upside, there are many resistances near $8,580 and $8,600. There is also a declining channel forming with resistance near $8,580 on the four-hour chart of the Bitcoin USD pair. Additionally, the 50% Fibonacci retracement level of the recent decline from the $8,777 high to $8,382 low is also near the $8,580 level. If there's an upside break above the channel resistance, the price could test the 8620 and 8630 resistance levels. More importantly, there's a crucial bearish trend line forming with resistance near 8630 on the same chart. To move into a positive zone, the price must break 8700 and 8720 levels. Having said that, a proper close above 8880 is needed for a trend change and a fresh increase. On the downside, there are many key supports near 8320 and $8,200 levels. The bears are likely to face a strong buying interest near 8200 below which there is a risk of a breakdown towards the $8,000 handle, as you can see right here in this graph. Looking at this chart, the Bitcoin price is following a bearish path with key supports near $8,200. Therefore, there's chances of a short-term upside correction towards $8,600 and $8,700 levels. However, the upward move is likely to face sellers and gains could be capped by $8,880. Well, that's gonna conclude today's show. As always, I appreciate you tuning in and journeying along with me inside this Bitcoin rocket ship heading straight to the moon. If you haven't done so already, make sure to smash that subscribe button and click the bell icon to receive notifications of the latest premium crypto news. Up, up, and beyond. And before I go, don't forget, you can still check out the replay to Tika Tuari's most recent live event where he breaks down a quantitative trading system which combines rocket science with the 100x speed trading algorithm to guarantee you a shot to see $12,000 a month with the 12 second move. There's a link right below this video in the description. Click on it, check it out. You won't be disappointed. And I look forward to seeing you on tomorrow's episode Peace.